Hello, everybody, and welcome back to D&D Blender Presents the Four Abreast Saga, Death of Mortality. I am your humble DM, Tim, and today we have with us Snorri. <laughs> Trix. It's getting a little hot in here. And Jay Quellen. It's Captain Jay Quellen. You should give us a good yell. I want to make sure your microphone triggers. Captain Jay Quellen. Cool. And Snorri, do that again, please. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Good. Making sure that the, the lights were lighting up for the right people. <laughs> In the previous session, the group, having made their way into the Tomb of the Nine, Nine Gods, made their way down through a few traps, some of them already triggered, some of them not triggered, spiraling down deep into the final floor of the tomb coming into the cradle of the death god in search of a piece of the soulmonger upon approaching the room as they entered in a floating skull of a demi lich floated across perching itself atop the remains of the soulmonger and announcing that he was indeed a Sirac, and that they were all doomed. Dice were rolled for initiative, and that was where the session ended. And so, kicking off this session right away, straight into combat, we go straight to tricks. This floating skull, gemmed teeth, evil-looking eyes is glaring down at you from the top of the Soulmonger. Oh, and by the way, uh, Fleur is not here. They're not feeling well. Get better soon. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> so I forgot. <laughs> so, Trix, it's you. What would you like to do? Shiver in my boots. Mm. Uh, All right. It takes one action to shiver. Ah, so, uh, action. That's just that's just playing me. <laughs> shiver in my boots. Would you like the attention? But. We're all looking now. Mm -hmm. Yes. More or less. Uh, talking to the Demi Lich. See mm -hmm. if I can try this first. No. Do you mind if we uh, borrow this here canister? We need it to uh, save the world. None shall pass. No, wrong voice. Is it? None shall pass. A Sirac will destroy all. <laughs> Hard to do when the world's destroyed anyway. No response. I would have threatened him with Vecna, but that's just me. I mean, is there a pecking order to liches and demi liches and other liches and the undead? Uh, I assume that they're all for themselves. Pretty much. Yeah. We kind of, yeah, it'd be one of those awkward moments of like, oh, Vecna sent you? Uh, shit. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, well, uh, oops. All right, so what are you doing, Tricks? I don't know what I'm doing. I shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> Second option would be going, Vector's more powerful than you. There's none more powerful than me, a Sirac. <laughs> All right, then. I'm grabbing my, my bow while I'm trying to With cause up some small talk. Yes, of, of course. Of your... Got two of these. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm starting to learn the system. Excellent. Whether or not I actually picked the right dice, that's a whole nother story. One of them would have been good. The other one, not so good. <clears throat> yep. Four plus 13. Okay. 17. You hit. So you fire your, your, boom, the bolt impacts. Roll your damage. <coughs> Sorry. Three damage. A six, a three, a two plus five. 11, 16. 16, yeah. Alright, you... Your bow, you release, the bolt flies loose from your bow. It impacts into the demi -lich, And you see, as the bolt impacts, the skull swings, and then swings forward, and then swings back, and then you hear something snap, then the skull falls, and then you hear, as it disappears into the lava. Huh? I think he lost his head. 
You <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> what? What was that? This is Fleur. Aren't we? I think we just got Wizard of Oz. <laughs> well, now look at me. I, I, I did what I was. Uh, right. So now he's. No, well, I, I guess we'll. Uh, we're, we're coming here to to get what we we came for. That seemed a little too easy, though. As you say that, you start hearing the sound of little little tippy tappy claws coming from behind you, and as you turn around, you see coming down the stairs first. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> no, Obviously, he doesn't get out much. Ah, keep that part in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. First, coming down the stairs, one hand, then two hands, and three hands, and four hands, and hands, 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 and more hands come tumbling down the stairs. And then you see... The same dude that you saw earlier on, the man that introduced himself as Wizards. He goes, Oh, God! He says, Ah, oh, God damn it, you broke the art! Shit! Oh, okay, never mind, I'm okay, I'm not falling now. Because what you doing? You're breaking the whole, the whole thing! Do you have any idea how long it took me to set that whole thing up? It took forever to find the thing and get the strings and to animate it all. It's just. Ah! Oh, I told you not to break anything! And what do you do? You go around here and stop breaking everything. And God damn it, it's going to take me forever to fix this up. Well, what do you have to say for yourselves? Oops. Well, it's certainly convincing enough that we actually thought we were under attack for a moment there and uh, reacted appropriately. <sighs> so clearly your work is of high enough quality. Though. Well, obviously not high enough. The bloody strings broke. So boys, get to work. Go build another one. And the hands start... Do your hands scat scatter about, a couple of the hands start scampering about up here. Um, you see them. You're now looking closer, you see what looks like um, spider silk thin uh, threads dangling from the roof that were uh, what the, uh, the skull was previously attached to. Um, the, uh, the crawling claws are sort of climbing up them and you see them sort of working on little little systems up there. So is that uh, that their canister? Is that uh, real or is that a no? No, that's that's a, a reproduction one. Yeah, uh, the other one, it's uh, I, I threw that one away. It was uh, it was broken, no good. But uh, yeah, what? So uh, look, I know you you were coming in here. I thought it might be a good idea to uh, to test out some of the things. Obviously, there's a bit of work required there. So what what you said you uh, you were saying you were, you were trying to save the world. What what what's going on? So, really, um. Yeah, I'm sure you're aware of the name of a certain certain scary fellow named Vechner. No, oh, yeah, that guy's a dick. Uh, well, he's he's basically got a plan to prevent the destruction of the entire planet, and it requires us to um, what was it? <clears throat> it was to get a piece of what was that thing? Soulmonger. The Soulmonger. Uh, and we have like a scroll to to um, blow shit up. And so we have to get this piece of the soulmonger if 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 it is in fact actually around. All right, well, I think uh, maybe we can uh, we can help each other out there. Yes. So um, look, this this place here. Look, it was my life's work. The uh, Sirak, he was a little bit of a crazy bastard, but you know he paid well, and he he hired me to keep this place maintained. And once he had his mighty and awesome plan, and then the adventurers came in and they kicked the crap out of him, and so we're left with this awesome dungeon. So I'm trying to turn it into the world's first reoccurring amusement park, the Tomb of Annihilation 2.0, so people can come in and see what would have happened if they came in here. Yeah, but to bring the kiddies along, it'd be all very very exciting. That's why I say don't don't break the shit. But uh, unfortunately, it's just still a little bit uh, too dangerous. There's uh, one of the monsters is still running a little bit, uh, bit wild. Uh, the weird tentacle creature that uh, that the Sirak put in underneath the uh, the uh, the gears of hate. 
Uh, it's, uh, it's still there, and it's uh, being a, uh, a real pain in the ass. I've been trying to get it up, but it, it just won't move. I think I might be stuck down there or something like that. So, I will make a deal. If you go down there and you, uh, you, you kill this thing for me, I will go and look out the back. I will find uh, the original Soulmonger, and then I will let you guys get out the front. What you say? Sure. You, you have a Soulmonger out the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the junk pile at the back. We've been throwing all the crap we've been getting out of this place. Well, it certainly seems like a much better idea than trying to... So what's the thing in the thing? Uh, I'm not really sure. It's uh, some giant, uh, big, big tentacle frog thing. Oh, frog human. Oh, is that, yeah, that's that's it. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a much, much bigger, bigger one. Yeah. Is it friendly? Fuck no! It's very <laughs> dangerous. That's why I'm not dealing with it. That's why I'm sending you guys to do that. Well. Ah, oh, well, I think we can do that. Although, you know, is, <clears throat> is there any other possibility of remuneration for the uh, effort to destroy such a terrible and terrifying creature? Hey, look, you're trying to save the world. I don't think we're really in uh, negotiation mode here. So you kill the thing, I give you the thing, you fuck off. How's that sound? The other front of is that the whole world burns with you in it. That's fine. I'm already dead. <laughs> I think you have a point. I think it's more of your problem than it is mine. <laughs> It doesn't look like a problem, eh? <laughs> so, right, okay, where is it? Point at Max Thurst. So you, you just go go back up the stairs, um, and then you go uh, you go uh, up through the spiral staircase, and you, uh, you know the area with the boats uh, underneath Aye. underneath the gears. Yeah, just just go in there, um, and uh, just just hang out there, make some splashing noises, pretend to be a uh, a wounded seal or something, and it will come up and go Bleh, and then you kill it. So go upstairs and go right. Uh, no, you, know, you go you go up two floors, uh, down the spiral staircase, into the boats, and then go out onto the water. Okay. All right, let's Pretty go. Much back up where we... oh yeah, go back God. the way you came. What the hell's going on? Let's just All right, let's go. Yeah, all right. Come on, boys. Let's uh, I'm gonna go back up and uh, gotta go dig through the junk pile again. This is... Okay, let's go. And he um, wanders off across uh, this bit here. Mm -hmm. The hands actually create a bridge and actually right. bridge him across this side, hands. Th this side here, and then he goes across the other. The hands bridge him across to here, and then he disappears through this little mist gate. And he's ah, oh, he's a fucking adventurer breaking up this skull. It took me forever to enchant that fucking thing. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so you guys head back up, back around, up, back down, and round. Cha cha cha. Floor is like, oh, that was that was different. I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, that uh, yeah, well, so not gonna lie, I was it expecting was... it. Really? What? Yeah. Oh, I guess you were sleeping with the DM. You would know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a full floor break. <laughs> oh yeah, and then some. Yeah. All right. Turns to the screen and winks. Winks. <laughs> no, I meant that I would know because I'm experienced. Sure. <laughs> All right. Hey, Captain. Clearly, that's what you meant. Hey, right. So you come on down the stairs, and then you pop out here, and now you can see what it looks like underneath the gears now, because they built a new map specifically ah. for this this ah. particular encounter. Excellent. Yes. Well made. Yes. Yeah, so this is what. Yeah. <laughs> a lot simpler than the original map. <laughs> Just yeah. the All right. So, um. You lot have got some sort of ranged combat ability that I didn't have. Uh, so, perhaps, well, I do, but it's rubbish. Right, so if I go out and pretend to be a order for a giant frog human thing, what's it? And you lot shoot the crap out of it while I beat it in the face with my axe. Oh. Sounds like a plan. Oh. Right, jumps in boat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Snorri's like Snorri's starting to sober up, and he's he's feeling crotchety. Mm -hmm. Could Chester fly? Uh, no, Chester can't fly, but he does. He um he he can walk across water. He doesn't actually need to to, to step on things. Cool. Yeah. I was planning on just run triple up near the roof, or a little higher up distance. Get mm -hmm. some aerial. Yeah. No, that that sounds good. So I'll 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 be on Chester. Um, uh, Jaquel, what are you planning on doing? 
I'll just fly up. You gonna fly as well? Okay. I got boots. <laughs> well, I'm assuming there's oars in the boat. Yes. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna start rowing badly. Okay. Out and so, splash in the water. Look at me! I'm a diving sea meat snark. Look at me! Splash! 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 Oh, I'm a terrible victim in the middle of this water. Clearly, I'm going to get eaten by this, this some horrible creature in this dungeon because I'm a fool and an idiot and I don't... I didn't see it coming. Ah. Takes a big swig. Glug, right. glug, 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 glug. So, tricks and tribble. <laughs> okay. Give me a moment here to get this all set up. Because I remember I had these height bases specifically for. Oh, for flight on. Yes, yeah. for doing multi level combat. Wait, it flies? Yes. It flies now? It flies. It flies now. You there we go. Fly, you can fly. Meh. I have yet to come across an an, an animal that I could use sense on, except talking to plants. I got some. Okay, Jay Quellen, you're up thirty feet, as is. Tricks and Tribble. I'm just going to delete the cog tops just to make things easier for movement. Uh, Snorri. Alright, so... Ah! He took out the water! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> <laughs> you took out the cogs and I, then it crashed. I hit the wrong... I went to click on boat. There we go. Alright, so where, where did you want to row out to? Um... Well, so considering like, the ever, yeah, probably out, out, out towards close enough, yeah, it's sort of out there or out there ish, yeah. All right, so just so you know, for the topography, um, these walls go up as high as these pillars, yeah, do these are the metal pillars that house the cogs, yep, and they're, they're um, the sh drive shafts, the, the drive shafts, shafts yes, yeah. exactly. How exactly. far up? Uh, 30 feet, sorry, 50 feet, 50 feet up, so you got a 50 foot, yep, um, height limit. Um, Remembering that's a 50 foot drop, yes, into water. But yes. Uh, it's a sudden stop. And we'll get Fleur mounted up on Chester. Mm -hmm. Doing their Chester things. They'll be in position to assist. Alrighty. Uh, J. Quellen, where would you like to position yourself for the setup for this? I would like to. I can't. Can I see? The, I can't see the frog. Thing. No, it hasn't shown up yet. So you guys are just getting yourself ready for the the well, engagement. Is uh, locate animal a thing I can use? Um, read it to me. Uh, there's one that I'm not sure what level it is. Describe a name or, or specific kind of beast or plant. Concentrate on the voice of nature and your surroundings. You learn the direction and distance of to the closest creature or plant of that kind within five miles. A frog hemoth is not a beast yep so it is not Begin. not detectable in that way unfortunately uh, um, yeah so so i would like to be i can't i know where it is but i can be pretty far away from it like 35 feet mm -hmm. so that would well be you're, you're already 30 feet up in the air but where did you want to be on the map is what i'm getting at oh, oh. i just realized there is something that i can use that will help me oh yes in in both no, saying sorry yeah I want to be so if I fall down, I won't die. You're over water. Again, that's fine. Okay. That should be fine then. Yeah. No, but where do you want to be? Do you want like, to just be hovering over the dock? Do you want to be... Uh, over here somewhere or... Yeah. Like, where where in this large mass of water do you want to be? It's probably somewhere close to my friends in case All I... Right, so, here? Yeah. Sure. All right. Cool. There you are. Cool. Uh, tricks? If you take the piece and move it to that... Um, uh, bit where the boats are mm -hmm. from what you can see from the boats up there, a bit down, a little bit. There you go. 
Okay. And Fleur will just be here, standing on the water, waiting for what's going on. Now, what were you saying, Star? Uh, commune with nature. Yes, yes. Uh, so it allows me to determine the location of... Uh, wait. Um, I think that's the same thing that... It's called different. I got locate creature. No, no, I've got commune with nature, so powerful celestials, fey, elementals, or undead. Um, it's neither of those things. All right, okay, yeah. cool. All good. All good. I thought it might, it might assist in, in, in being better bait. Mm-hmm. No worries. Splash, splash, splash. Did you want to uh, prepare an action? Um, yes. Basically, the axe is sitting right in, right in front of me. Mm-hmm. All right. The second anything happens, it'll be drop the oars, grab the axe. Yep. Uh, and uh, I... Because does it take an extra action to, to kick rage in? It's a bonus action to rage. All right. Um, yeah, that'll be the... the, the So you want to prepare a rage for the moment you yeah. get attacked, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. No worries. Um, tricks? Well, Prepared I'm... action? Yes. Mm -hmm. Only action. Action? Just get your gun ready? Bo. Bo? Yes. Um, She's the one with Jake the gun. Uh, I'll guess it'd be the laser pistol. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. And I'm steady with that. Splash, splash, I was taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. So, as you are all standing there for a while, you start hearing... Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then, as you all watch, a massive tentacle comes out of the water and <gasps> rolls a natural one trying to get the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it a wave. Hello. Like, Hello. As <laughs> <laughs> so it makes three, uh, has three tentacle attacks. So we do. So the first tentacle comes out. It swings. You see the tentacle go <laughs> going at that. If you guys seeing that now, you can now fire your shots at the tentacle. So make your attacks. Can I roll two dice? Um, you can't steady aim consistently. That's it. So you just got your regular shot waiting. So. Eight plus thirteen. 21. 21, yep. Oh my God. Uh, give me a moment here. Multi tech, tentacle. So I'm just trying to work out. I think the tentacles have their own damage type, but no, that's a different thing. All right, so, so what'd you roll, sorry? I rolled 21. an 8 plus 13. 21. Um, yes, that will hit. Roll for damage. A two, a two, a three, plus five. Seven, uh, seven and five is twelve. To twelve, yes. So. Twelve. All right. Jake on. I rolled eighteen. Eighteen. That will hit. Roll for damage. Can I do everything? You'll get everything for this one, yeah. I do have a calculator. <laughs> One sec. One sec and use it. Me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm faster than that, mate. Mm. Like. Mm. That'd be 11 plus. Seven or something. Thirty-one plus seven, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Nice. So that's uh, fifty total. Cool. And then you. Rah! I'm now very angry apparently because I joked that I had a bath, yeah. <laughs> which we all know is a terrible lay. <laughs> um. Okay. So the other two tentacles will hit the boat, and the boat <laughs> is ripped asunder, mm -hmm. and you sploosh into the water and then emerging come on big boy 
Nope, wrong. Wrong. <laughs> ah, I'm somewhat disappointed. I was expecting bigger. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're about to make it bigger, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I will. Thanks, You wanted bigger? You got bigger, man! I, I will. Thanks, it's, Raven. It's a great large tree. I will uh, uh, use my axe to climb up the side <laughs> of it. I take it back. I take it back. All right. And with that, the frog hemoth tentacles everywhere. Everybody, roll initiative. <laughs> Just Fleur. Too busy uh, waking myself into a frenzy. Thirteen. Jaquelin. Fourteen. I rolled a one. Wow. Tricks. Twenty-seven. Ooh, look at you go! So fast. Always so fast. Rolled a one. Still better than my eight. And the frog hemoth. Hey there. Hi ho. Hi ho. <laughs> Hi ho. I'm Kermit. <laughs> the frog hemoth. I'm right? Kermit Frog Hemoth. <laughs> we are eternally oh, also friends. Yay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in front of me. <laughs> oh, almost. It's eating him. Well, it's about to try. Mmm. So, I'm like swallowing, doesn't have to eat. Actually, let me put the uh, choke it. Let me put the let me put the grid up. There we go, makes it a bit more a bit simpler to work out where you guys are. Alrighty, uh, Trix, you're up first. You see this massive creature. Can I shoot it from where I am? Go for it. A three plus thirteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. That will miss. Right. Next one then. <laughs> Eleven plus thirteen. That will hit. Roll for damage. A four, a two, a three plus five. Nine. So I feel fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Nice. Uh, anything else you want to move, or you're happy just sw stay sticking around there? Uh, where my piece is, I will move a bit to the right, so I'm between the uh, the cogs. So you want to go here? Yes. Yeah. Closer to the cog, or just on the same line? In the same line ish. Yeah. Cool. Done. Um. All right. Is the frog hemoth's turn? Ha <laughs> ha. Delicious. Um. Hey, little man, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dwarf in so long. <laughs> Hi ho! Mm. Nom nom nom. Um. Alrighty, so it's, you're already nearby, which is fine. Yep. So it doesn't need to do that. Uh, uh. Two, three, four. Okay. It's fine. Um. Cool. All right. So. It is going to use a bite attack on you. Yep. Uh, good God, these dice can fuck right off. These are my new dice. I've rolled three natural ones with it so far today. Well, you're getting all the kinks out. Yeah, yeah. Will that, will that make the job of climbing up the side of it with my axe easier? No. Ah, uh, well. Uh... <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Um, and then it will do... Uh, it's two, there's three tentacle attacks, mm -hmm. um, which will also all go to you, because you're the only one that can actually see at the moment. 
Uh, all right. Uh, 33? Uh, no, I'd say that's probably not going to do it. Um, you're one short. And, um, <laughs> 26. That'll do it, yeah. Okay. Uh, so these are uh, 3d6 plus 10 each. I want to get a dodge, do I? What is that beeping noise? It's a car backing up. Mm. All righty, seven, eight, ten, uh, thirteen, fifteen, thirty-five halved is uh, uh 16, 15, 16. sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. So you take seventeen points of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Good. Um. And it's for its tentacles and its bite. And that is it for its turn. Uh, Jaquelin. Uh, I wish to shoot at it. Go for it. Um. Um, 26. That will hit. Roll for damage. Super good. Okay. So you got some fours there? Yep. Oh. All right. Oh, I get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, thirty. Thirty. Put the six with the four. Oh, yeah. And then add the five. Okay, cool. Forty-five? Yep, plus, plus seven. Plus seven. Is fifty-two. Yes, mm -hmm. but I can also have another shot, right? Can I do my second weapon? With your... No, were you steady aiming or no? No, I only, only rolled one dice. Okay, so was it 51 you said? Hmm. No, uh, 52. 52. 52, sorry. Uh, sorry, I was going to add this up. Hang on. Uh... Six. All right, cool. Thank you. Now he's got your your crossbow. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely hit because it's yeah. 14. Fourteen plus plus thirteen. A million, yep. yeah. Twenty-seven. Yep. Cool. And I roll one d six plus seven, so uh, thirteen. Yep. An extra thirteen on that. Extra thirteen. Cool. One, two, nine. All righty. Um, it is now going to use its legendary action. Yep. Yes, they do. And it is going to throw Snorri. Oh, oh I thought it attacked me. That's Jake Quellen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it is attacking. <laughs> Ironically, as am I. <laughs> uh, strange how it's actually going to Jake Quellen instead of away uh, Okay, from... so one large or smaller object or creature grabbed by Bri before Chemist is thrown 60 feet in a random direction or and not prone. Oh, so it can't actually choose its target. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, it strikes a solid surface. It takes one d six for every. Um, is there a dex saving throw here? Uh, a dexterity saving throw to be not prone, but you'd be prone in the water regardless. Um, so no, no. so it won't. It won't do that. Yep. It will instead use its lightning Ugh. storm ability. It will create three bolts of lightning. Each can strike a target it can see within 120 feet. So dexterity saving throw for. Uh, Chester and Fleur, Tricks and Tribble, and Jay Quellen. So lightning <laughs> shoots out of. You cheeky bastard. The dext saving throw? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, 5, 11, 16. 16. 18. Uh, 18. Okay, the saving throw. It's a 23. Oh. Damn. So that is a failure for everybody. So, do you have evasion? I don't have triple stat block. No, no, it's not not hitting. It's hitting you specifically, not triple, because you 
because it, um because of your mounted combatant thing anything that targets you can be forced to target anything mm. that targets your mount can be forced to target you so there's never any instances of um targeting the mounts anymore because there is no fucking point mm. <laughs> i don't know so, it's like a big double... chunk of stuff here that so, I have to So, so Jake, Jake Quellen, even though you failed, you can use your evasion ability to take half. Okay. Because, no. yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. with, with evasion, you can either choose to take half or take nothing when when de taking dexterity saving throw. All right. So I could have chose nothing if I passed, right? If you, if you passed, you take no damage whatsoever. Mm. All righty. Uh, Jake Quellen, you take 14, 19, 27 lightning damage. Is that half? Uh, that is the uh, first roll. So 27 halved is uh, 13. Yep. Fleur takes 9, uh, 16, 20. Nice even number. 20 damage. And tricks you take. Uh, 18, 27, uh, 32. 32. 32 points of lightning damage. Why do you quite a lot so they have to be? Mm. This is a big monster. You guys are level 17. You're fighting the big shit now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's piffing the big things. Exactly. Stop your crunching. Um... Is now Fleur's turn. Fleur. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Running straight up and going for the big punches. So, uh, unarmed strike. Uh, with Chester using the help action. So, still hits. Um, and we have... Gloves of Soul Catching. So they do 2d10 force damage. Plus the d6. And she is a, a rogue as well. So another 2d6, so 3d6 plus 2d10. Uh, so 16, which she heals, which is the radiant. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, another 6. Uh -huh. 56. Oh, yeah. For the first attack. Um I think she would give it a crack to see whether it can be stunned. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a stunning strike. Um which it rolled a 19 4, which I believe is a pass. Yes, that is just a pass. Yeah, she's an agent, Nineteen is the is her number right, or yeah. her DCs. That is just a pass on the the stunning strike. Um, second attack, same deal. Uh, that will hit. Would you use the key points to? Hmm. Would you use the key points to stick it? No, that's not how that works. Sorry. No, you got me. So 15, 24. Oh, no, that's if she's if she either takes advantage or she heals one of the two. Mm. So at this point, at this point, she's healing just to keep herself back up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's her two base attacks, and she heals another 15. Um, so how many key points has she got left? Body conspirations. Key, 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 key. Alright. So she's used one already. 
Second one for Flurry of Blows. That's two more unarmed strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, both of which hit. Uh, 10, that's 13 healing. Okie dokie, and then the second one, the last one I could say. Okay. Uh, heals her back up to full. And that is 15, 24 again. Alrighty. Uh, and that was... 50 points of movement, and uh, Chester will use bonus action dash and just run straight past. Mm -hmm. And cannot be attacked because of mobile. Alrighty. Uh, sorry. Oh, actually, hang on. Sorry. Uh, has three legendary actions. Um... Uh, No, it won't do anything just yet. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Well, I am grappled, I believe. You are grappled and restrained. So your speed is zero. Mm -hmm. um, you So you cannot move. Uh, attack rolls against you have advantage, and uh, your attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. I'm not sure what I can do. Well, you're being held. You can still attack. You just have disadvantage on your attacks. Hmm. Just think of it like. I'm fairly certain you can, if I remember correctly. I'm just looking at the yeah. You've got reckless, don't you? Uh, no. Yeah, reckless attack. Oh. You can choose to take reckless, which means that you you get advantage on your attacks, and everyone gets a, a disadvantage, and you get dis. Uh, sorry, you get advantage on your attacks, but everyone gets advantage on attacks against you, which is happening anyway. So you might as well go reckless cancel out your disadvantage and just swing. and then go for it yeah, yeah. i'll do that then um two attacks yeah roll them together or rolling separately oh it doesn't matter uh, uh 24 mm -hmm. right uh 1d12 plus 8 and what's the other one uh the other's a miss okay 1d12 plus 8 a d12 plus 12 oh yes because you are raging uh, 17. 17. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, that's me, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you don't really have a great deal you can do. Uh, oh, no, I've got tats. Oh, yeah, if you want to add the additional damage. Yeah. I think I will. Mm -hmm. That'll be the uh, Blood Fury, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do the extra 4d6 and the necrotic damage. Yeah. Just making sure I mark it off. Mm -hmm. uh, 4d6. Uh, it's 8. Uh, 12, 13. 13. Nice. And then you heal that much. Uh, 13 back, yep. Alright. Uh, it will then... Mm -hmm. Use its legendary action to do a smack bottom. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was going to attempt to swallow, to swallow you, actually. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he just got you in the tentacle. All right, so there's the 20. So. That was a natural 20. Dude. Natural 20. Yep. So that's the nibble. Yep. So the bite does. Uh, 24, 34 before the dice are rolled. Yep. 34. Hang on a second. Yep. Let me get the... So 34, 44, 
46, so 23. Yep. Uh, piercing damage, and you are swallowed. Excellent. Gulp. 23, yep. Yes. There we go. In the frog. <laughs> well, it certainly makes it makes it far more convenient for me to, to, to axe. Um, alrighty. Um, Joke on this, you bastard. Tricks. Which way is up? You're up. <laughs> yeah. Start hacking. Eventually I'll find my way out. Make your own, own way out. Um, can I still see it from my position? Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's Damn. very, it's very large. <laughs> I'm behind a pillar. Yeah, see, so again, it's very large. <laughs> it's bigger than the pillar is wide. Yes, exactly. Alrighty. A 14 plus 13. Uh, I guess that was it. Mm -hmm. A 5, A 4, A 2 plus 5. 11, 16. 16. Either way, it's a 16. Yep. 16 will miss. Oh, no, no, no. 16, 16 plus. Total. Both, yeah, okay. yeah, both 16. the dice are both 16. So 20, 29. Plus 16 yeah. plus yes, 13. That will hit. Roll so. the damage. I just haven't had a double this of the same mm -hmm. number mm -hmm. yet. Oops. Four, ten. What was that last number? One. One. So four, sixteen again. That's fine. Sixteen again. All righty. Eleven. 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 Cool. Uh, okay. Anything else? Wish to move, or are you happy where you are? I'm happy where I am now. For now. For now. Right. Till things change. All right. Cool. Um, Rogemoth. Oh, lifted. Ew. <laughs> there we go. Say, Ugh. Just pooped out a dwarf. He pooped out a dwarf. Yes. Uh, it is going to. Uh, fling out its tongue at you, Jay Quellen. Uh, make a strength saving throw, please. Oh, my strength is not my strong suit. Ironic. Uh, Four. <laughs> Full chest. Four. All right, cool. So basically, the tongue goes out and just <laughs> pulls you down into the water directly in front of it. Um,. And then that will give it advantage on its bite attack, uh, which is a, sorry, here we go, bite, 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 uh, 36 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still reckon you want to As you... Gulp, get swallowed. Ah. Am I afraid to attack you still on next turn? Yes, but you'll have disadvantage because you're inside the creature. Well, or I'll have average if I steady aim, or will I not have steady aim? Uh, no, no, you can steady aim, yeah. You can try for something to look at. Yeah. Uh, so 11. I'm with my friend, you, I have you take 21 to... piercing damage, and you're now inside. The frog hemoth. Can I choose to evade that? <laughs> uh, no. It's no. Strength saving throw, unfortunately. So 21 damage? 21 damage. Damn. Why am I doing so well against this one? Uh, no. It's okay. alright. Gulp. <laughs> if you think about it, we've actually done a significant amount of damage already. Yeah, you've done nearly 300 points of damage to this thing. Yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah. it's not having a good time. It may not be dead yet, but it's not having a good time. I've rolled pretty well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that is the frog hemoth. So it's moving to there. And then... After mm -hmm. it has swallowed Jay Quellen, it is going to sploosh underwater. Oh no. But you're a tracker, aren't you? Tricks. Or... Yeah, in the forest. Did you see any leaves around everywhere? No. You need a high um, survival. Or... So. I can track animals and plants. This is neither. So That's an animal. Yeah. It's a beast, isn't it? No, it's not. It's it's not a. But for, for the purposes of her tracking, it doesn't count. It's not a. It's not a beast. It's a um, aberration, I believe. 
Uh, sorry, it's a monstrosity. But you can roll... Technicalities. Yeah. Whatever so, it is, I so can't track So the thing it. is, you can only track specific creature types. It doesn't count as a beast for tracking purposes. But you can roll survival or... Um, yes, exactly. Or exactly. I just think it's hilarious die. that you should join the... Stop, stop, stop. No, I have no idea where it went. No idea where it is. No. No. I'm like, swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Yeah. Was... Alrighty. Fleur is just like, no! Um, and we'll go to where it was last positioned and hold an attack for if it decides to pop its head up out of the water. Mm. Um, Snorri. Um, okay. Take me to the weasels. Creatures that are swallowed in... Um, while well swallowed, the creature is blinded and restrained. as total cover against attacks. And it takes 12 d6 acid damage at the start of each of... Oh, each of its each of the of the, the Prochemus turns. Sorry, sorry. I mean, technically, the, it's attacking you. So it should have done that earlier on. Let me just roll that now. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so we got nine, ten... Uh, 16, 17, uh, 23, 28, 32, 38, 42, 42. <laughs> so 21 points of acid damage as you are raging. Uh, and now it is your turn. And I misread one of my things here. I don't... Endless, endless, uh, decanter of endless beer. I misread it as deca decanter of endless bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a beast! You <laughs> 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 can always drown it from the inside. Have I had my turn? Sorry? Do I have my turn? Uh, oh yeah, sorry. You're inside of it now. I apologize. I skipped over you. Yeah. You got swallowed. Yeah, sorry, go. Sorry, Jake Wellen. Back to you. Yeah, I was waiting for my turn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got excited because I ate you. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is revenge for the Is that right, Hannibal? So I got disadvantage, so I can steady aim and not have disadvantage? Correct. Um, 8 plus 13. I probably hit. 21. Uh, 21, that will hit, yes. You know what I was going to do, but I got lost? I was going to do Hunter's Mask, which would have given me an advantage. So, in case he actually went under. Oh, using the tracking ability. Then I would have had the tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fleur could have, um, Theo fired it. Fairy. Well, could have, didn't. Didn't, I know. <laughs> Fairy fire takes an action, much rather punch. Yes, this is true. Mm. Okay. No one. Yeah. And it exploded. So. 10. 20. 34 plus 7. 39, 42. Everything has a 2 tonight. It's 42. 42. Uh, it was, um, 7, 3. Eight. All right, cool. Sorry. There you go. So that was your steady aim, so that's, that's everything for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fleur, Snorri, back to you. Sorry. Uh, yes, I'm going to try and hit it. I'm raging. Mm -hmm. Recklessly. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a 19 and a 26. Both of those hit. Okay. So D12 plus 12. Mm -hmm. Roll the two D12s. Uh, 24 and 14. Okay. So, uh, 24 and 14 is 30. 38. 38, and then I will tattoo it mm -hmm. for another 46. Hang on, so... Yep. Sorry, I'm trying to get the mat here. 38, yep. And 16 more. 16 more. Okay. Uh... Okie dokie. Yeah, it's fine. Cute. Uh, alrighty. Uh, lightning will shoot up out of the water. Uh, one at you, Trix, and another one at Fleur. Uh, Fleur passes, takes no damage. Trix. That was the... Dex. Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. 
14 plus 11. Uh, yes, so you take half of this. Alrighty, uh, 8, uh, was it 10, 13, uh, 22, so 11. 11 lightning damage. Okie dokie. Uh, and back to you, Trix. <laughs> Not really that much I can do if it's underwater and I can't track anything. Mm-hmm. I could probably just move. Where would you like to move? Where well, you got the map right now? Mm -hmm. North. So straight up. A little bit to the right. Your right. Yes. In that in that get bit. Going bit. into that little gap there. So much. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's Tribble's maximum movement? Good question. I think it's eighty feet. He's got like double speed at the moment. He's got the. Yes, and then there's the stuff. Nope. Stuff you say. Animal handling, nope. On a red, nope. God, there's so much stuff to use troll through. <laughs> Drake companion. Oh my god, it, you click on it, it's even worse. I don't know. Yeah. Speed 40 feet. Yeah, 40 feet plus he's got another 30 feet added to that with the special... Uh, I think he's got like the horse, horseshoes of speed or the equivalent of. Yes. So it gives him an additional 30 feet. So he's got 70 feet of movement. So yeah, you're good. Kind of like an anklet. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that's you there. Um, uh, Frog Hemoth's turn. All right, so... Uh, I take damage. Yes, well, both of you take damage. Uh, seven, eight, ten, seventeen, twenty, thirty, forty. So twenty and forty acid damage. Um, It is going to pop up because there is a fleur frog, uh, fl frog, a fleur dog on the thing. Fleur will swing. Oddly enough, she will miss. <laughs> Right. Rolling a three. A, she. Uh, a three plus 11 is 14. Not enough to hit. Even using the stick wouldn't have been enough. Um, alrighty. Uh, Froggy is just going to wail on... On her. Uh, you hold your action? Considering you moved, but... Oh, yeah, did you want to hold your attack for when it popped, when it revealed itself? Yes. Okay, so, yeah. So you if may, I got, may... was going to be backed into a corner, of course I would hold Yeah, make action. your attack then. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do I roll two of these? Yes, because you're at disadvantage. Right. Yeah. A 7 plus 13. It's 20. 20, that will hit. Yeah. Still roll the 3? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 22. Oh, look at that. All of them just hit Fleur, because Fleur has got 22 AC. 5, 1, 4, plus 5. So 5 and 5 and 15. 15, of course. Takes another 15 damage. In the back of it, Scorn! Uh... Okay. Uh... Sorry, so it's 3 hits on Fleur. Uh, so that's 96 plus 30. Take that, you doggy bastard! I think I'm going to take two more turns before I die because it's like really high and I can't help it. Uh, 10, 11. I'm hacking. 
13, 19, 20. Oh, that was nicely evenly done. Uh, 60 points of <laughs> total damage. 30 and 30. Okay. So it comes out just... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and it's got her in the tentacles as well. Um, that is it for its turn. Uh, Jaquelin, it is your turn now. Shoot it. Shoot it in its insides. Damn, I Are you gonna brace? What's up? You gonna brace so it's not a disadvantage? Ah, uh, I already. I, I'm already. I, I'm a disadvantage anyway, aren't I? Exactly. So, yeah. yeah so yeah. you, you're, you always want a steady aim because yeah, you can't move. I yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. So it's just a flat roll. Yeah. So yeah. I would have probably failed because it would have been fifteen. Fifteen total. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I it's a two. I rolled yeah. pretty. This See? is a terrible dice. But you hit. Yeah. So you, you hit something. It just doesn't cause any damage. So you're like. Argh! <laughs> he goes out to fight Flurry. Yeah, the beam, beam shoots out. So what? Like, how could I miss, really? Yeah, it's, it's not so much the fact that you miss that you just hit something that doesn't cause damage. That's sort of, that's <laughs> I was more the thinking idea more of, of the banana gun. Yes. <laughs> Special effects. Ruin the battery. Um, okay, so that's it for Jay Quellen then. Yeah. Um, Fleur has been grabbed, so she will be attacking with disadvantage for, for this round. The funny part is that she can't be dismounted from... Uh, can't be dismounted from from Chester. Hmm. So as, as it picks her up, it takes Chester with. <laughs> Is that like mounted combatant? No, it's the um, uh, the saddle of the Cavalier. It's, yeah, it's a special saddle that she has. You've also got the same saddle. I don't think so. Don't you? I thought you had the same saddle. I don't think so. Oh, have a look in your inventory. I thought you did. Mm. Inventory, just flat inventory. It would be in your inventory. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's I do not a... have one. So you don't have it? No. No. Oh, okay. You just you just good then. <laughs> Probably should, probably should find one of those. They're really useful. <laughs> yeah, if it's in in inventory, no. Don't yeah. Have it okay. So yes, yeah, so you probably should get one of those. They're really good. I thought that was mounted combatant. And it's a, I've it, never heard of a saddle. There's two things. There's, there's mounted combatant, and then there's saddle of the cavalier. When you combine those two things together, it's phenomenal. Right now, you tell me. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, first attack with disadvantage. Uh, going for. The stick whack. That's a natural one, unfortunately. So second attack also with disadvantage, going for the stick whack. Um, uh, three. Uh, seven. No, fuck. Okay. Uh, good God. Okay. I just rolled three seventeens in a row, as in total seventeen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, that doesn't help at all. Um, Larry of Blows? Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, I, I used I used the bonus action for the... I uh, probably should do that anyway. Yeah, sorry. Let's... Hey, there we go. So it'll be two, two attacks with the, the flute and then the Flurry of Blows... The punch, first punch, mm -hmm. miss, second punch, hit. Um, so, we got key. Hang on. All right, so that's done there. Uh, there's no sneak attack because the attack was a disadvantage, but we'll be using the the punching fists uh, to give herself... Some healing back. Yes. Now, the question would be, I would imagine... Being Fleur, they would use Chester's blink ability to teleport out, yes? From the grasp. From the yeah. grasp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. That's fine. So, um, okay, so it's D6 plus 2D10. Because Chester would almost do that instinctively. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. At least you would hope so. I'm smothered in tentacle. No! Blink. Uh, oh, all right, so oh. it's 11 regular damage and then 18 radiance damage which he heals uh so 11 that is 17 uh and then the 18 radiance so that is uh 30 
five. Yes, thank you. And then Chester blinks. And as Chester blinks, you hear. <laughs> and Chester disappears in a puff of smoke. And doesn't reappear. Sorry. Well, all this is... What, I have no idea what's going on outside. There's lo lots of constricting and gross noises and shit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to lash out. Yep, go for it. As, as I do. As you do. I'm kind of angry. It's very hard to drink in here. 18 and 18. Both of those hit? Um, just. Just. Literally just, but... Yeah. Da -da -da. So it'll be uh, 18, 18 and 17. 18 and 17 damage. So 20, 35. Yep. And then I will, if my tablet will give me, without switching off itself, that'd be lovely. Uh, and then I will acid up, uh, uh, acid it up again. So I will try to get up again. You mean? Yes. Yeah. Necrotic. Because why not? Moop. Come on. I said moop. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's two. Uh, eight total. Eight total. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, and that was 35. Uh, Yes, it's taken enough damage. It takes enough damage in the, before it comes around to its turn again. It has to take a um, uh, constitu constitution saving throw to throw someone up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Oh, from creatures inside of it. No, so it has, it's taken it from the outside and the inside. So yeah, no, right. not yet. So yeah, I apologize. Anyway, uh, back to you, Trix, because... Um... It's lightning storm. Oh no, it's going to do its uh, its tongue at you. So dexterity saving throw. Oh sorry, strength saving throw. Sorry, I thought dex. it was backwards to me because it did. Because Fleur disappeared to puff of smoke. Don't just spin her out of the spot. Uh, that'll be a twelve. A twelve. Yep. So dexterity you dexterity saving throw. So you get you get pulled off of Tribble and straight in front of it. Can Tribble do an action yeah, yeah, in absolutely. my place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acid. Fire breath. Oh, okay. Acid breath. So you can go, Tribble, get him! So Tribble's going to swoop in and blah, blah, blah. Acid all over And that is a what save? I have no idea. We use so much Bobo that I don't actually... Uh, Dexterity saving throw for the mm -hmm. Rocky. Uh, rolled a 15 plus... Seven, so twenty uh two, so it passes, so it'll take half whatever you roll. So half of eight D six. Eight D six. Let me just get a moment to get them all out. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I think you've already got four there, I think. Five, six, seven, one, one more. Where's the pillow? Eight. A six. Yep. A two. Eight. A one. Nine. Nine. A six. Uh, fifteen. A six. Uh, twenty-one. A two. Twenty-three. A four. Twenty-six. Ah, uh, twenty-seven. A four. Thirty-one. So half of that's fifteen. Fifteen. It ran down or up? Uh, it always ran down. Yeah, 15. Well, 34, that'd no, be 36, wouldn't it? Sorry, that'd be 16, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry, 16. 16, yeah, okay, cool. So, Trix gets <laughs> coming towards, and Triple goes, uh-uh, not on my watch. <laughs> and the acid goes into the frog hemoth's eyes, the frog, frog hemoth goes, uh -uh! <laughs> and then falls back into the water. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, all right, now we got to work out what happens to you guys on the inside once this thing's dead. <laughs> As the water goes... Yeah, it, tri it tripled also after the breath come and rescue me from the water. Yes, exactly. So Tribble If it sees it f I know, flying... Yeah, Tribble will, will begin to, to, to swoop, swoop around. As the, the frog hemoth dies, you see a, a goo beginning to ooze out of it. You are unfortunately in that area there. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Is a six. Six. Okay. Uh, so what is the constitution saving throw? Yes. Trust me, it won't be enough. The save's 23. Uh, <laughs> one. So seven. All the seven. Other. Yeah, cool. So you take um, ooh, 28 points. Sorry, 26 points of uh, poison damage. Ooh. And then Tribble will be able to sweep. Uh, sweep. Sweep. Sweep, sweep down sweep. And, and pick you up in his talons. As the creature begins to sink into the water, you guys find yourselves able to move a lot more freely. Um, it says here, uh, if a kraken dies, or sorry, if the frog hemoth dies, my apologies, <laughs> not a kraken, what I'm talking about. <laughs> if the frog hemoth dies, solid creatures is no longer restrained uh, by it, and it can escape from the corpse using 15 feet of movement, exiting prone. So you guys just... Managed to crawl, claw your way out. Yes, north or south? Into, you end up in the uh, the poison-filled water. So both of you will need con to save. make con saves, please. Oh, con Do I have to get 23 to pass? Correct. I don't think that's impossible. Oh, I rolled a natural 20. Which is? What's your con save? Uh, it's plus 2. So 22. So you couldn't pass. <laughs> <laughs> 23. 23. Beautiful. So you're taking half. That is so unfair. So you take, uh, so 15, 20, so you take uh, 7, um, halved again because you're raging. So 7, uh, you take 3, three. you take yeah. 3 points of poison damage. Which well, I think oh, being I, a dwarf, you're, resistance. you're resistant to it anyway, so you take 1. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, no, you can't, you can't double up on the resistances. Uh, so you're, right. you're, because you're, your rage is resistance to all damage, so you can't have resistance right. and resistance. So, uh, so it's yeah. still just 3. Let me just do it and apply. Yep. And Jaqueline, you take uh, eight, uh, four, um, eight plus uh, five, uh, 13 points of poison damage. 13? Yes. It's and... not fair I rolled a 20 on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have to do some sort of long rest. Hey, just just remember, this. right? You guys you guys have got like, you know, stupid little high dexes and stuff, right? And you've got some wisdom and intelligence and stuff. Yeah, I'm at neg one for all of those and only plus three for my decks. But for that save, I'm at plus 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are now free-floating in the water. The frog hemoth sinking to the bottom of the lake. And Fleur, nowhere to be seen. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, let's get out of the water first. And then we'll try and figure out what happened to the... To yeah, the doggo in the bay. We'll make it over to the dock that caretaker guy sent us down here you might know if this this thing has some sort of abilities that we don't know about yeah it's a possibility how far i don't my beer today i have not uh i don't believe you have no i think he tried to in the belly no 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 he was he pulled out the the, the endless the counter of bees bees <laughs> Alrighty, so. Got to drink a pint of beer. Okay, so you drink beer. Covered in, in goo. 4 day 4 plus 4. Mm hmm Well, you just get that maximum because you're not in the middle ah, of the combat. So, so four, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Yep. Right, let's go find that here. Yeah. Uh, that old strange fellow with the helping hands. <laughs> I can't 
can't not think of them as the helping hands now. No, it's true. There is helping hands. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. You chose down. <laughs> yeah. You chose down. Alrighty. Uh, so you make your way. You're just going to go back to the cradle? Well, we don't know where Fleur is. Mm-hmm. And Ch- Fleur and Chester have just disappeared. Mm-hmm. So we can go and find... Yeah, we'll make our way back downstairs and see if he's down there. Alrighty. And then we can go... So what happened? Alrighty. So you make your way. So, as you guys come down the stairs, you are greeted once more by Withers. I should change his name, probably. And his port of hands. <laughs> <laughs> you are he goes ah oh, there you are you're back now how did it all go looking a little bit damp there I see yeah but we took out the toad ah oh, very good work very good work but we lost the fairy and the oh. dog oh it got, got eaten I, I, I no more did you no. check inside it once you went you killed it we oh. were inside no. of it interesting story I was inside the beast at a time when it died uh, no well, the only person that would have seen it was was me. Mm. These two got eaten. Fleur just disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? She has the ability to blink in certain situations. I think oh, that's what she, she did, no, but then shit. she just All went... Alright, uh, she teleported, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that means she's stuck in the oubliette. For what? Uh, the oubliette. Uh, if you try to teleport in this place, if you're not wearing one of these, and he holds up the little medallion that he's got, uh, it will cause you to um, get... Uh, stuck into uh, uh, the oubliette it's um yeah just um if uh, it is uh you could you could go in and get her or you could you could wait but it, it's kind of dangerous it's it's kind of the waste disposal thing well, is it gonna she's gonna go into the waste disposal well yeah she's in there there's there's a monster but also there's, there's a black hole that just sends everything into oblivion uh so yeah i, I can send you in there if you want to go get her is there a time thing? Because I well, no, just uh, just depending on how patient she is. Oh, well, she guess she can wait. Do you have the soul marker? Oh yes, I do. Yeah, and he um re- he um <laughs> reaches into his into his pocket and says, "This is all that was left." And it's just a small glass shard. Oh, when I say small, a glass shard about yay big. So this is the only remaining piece of it. The rest of it fell in the lava when the other adventure was in here. But uh, this is all that was remaining of these of this soul manga. That's what we need, is it? Uh, I said, take a piece of it. Yep. All right, that's good enough. Thanks. Yeah, I suppose we should go get the wee one. Where do we go? Uh, well, it, honestly, if you want to go and uh, and get her, uh, you could just. Uh, d- do you have the ability to teleport yourselves? Does anyone have that ability? Nope. Uh, oh, well, if you want, I could put you in there. You just need to make sure to solve the puzzle. It's kind of a bit of a bitch. Because unfortunately, the puzzle it, it randomizes. Even I don't know the the proper solution. So you just got to try and. Uh... So essentially, there there are two levers. Uh, you pull one lever, it will it will suck everything into the hole. Uh, you pull the other lever, it gets you out. But if you pull one lever and you get it wrong, then the lever is randomized position, so you don't really know which one it is. So it's a little bit of a hit and miss. <laughs> They're all just staring at each other. Like, ah. Can we um, bring one of your cans to do that puzzle? You could. I don't think it's going to be much of it. It doesn't matter. I mean, they can pull the lever, but then it just it just sucks everything into the room. So even if you're in there and, and they're not in there and... You've got the specific person to pull the lever. It's the person that gets out. It doesn't take everyone out of the room. So it's, uh, it's you know, it's a little bit. Like I said, it's very hit and miss. 
Oh, we've got the s s stones of sending, whatever it is, yeah? Like, mm. we can actually communicate with Fleur. Mm hmm Hello? Yes. Oh, hey, this is working now. Bloody hell. Hey, now, I don't mean to panic you, so take a deep breath. Oh, a bit late for that. I don't like it in here. It's full of dead bodies. There's a big right. tentacle beast. I killed it, though. You killed it? Yeah. yeah fantastic. Yeah. Hey. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah, also, there's an otiog. Yeah, did, she, did she kill it? Yeah, an otiog? Yeah, yeah, an audio, big tentacle thing, big mouth. Ah, uh, she's she's killed that. Ah, uh, fuck! I got to find another one of those. Damn it! Okay. Right. Yeah, well done, small one. Right. So, uh, apparently, it's good news and some bad news, and I cannot phrase it any better than that. I've been trying to teleport out. It doesn't work. It won't work. It, hmm. There's two levers, apparently. Oh. Well, don't yeah. pull on either of them yet. I, well, need to well, tell you I, the I don't see the levers. All I see is a, a big, a big green mouth. Uh, a green green demon face with with a, with a hole like the one we saw. Uh, big green demon face with a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, the the um it, up the nose. The tent levers up the nose. The, 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 apparently the levers are up the nose again. Don't pull on the lever yet. Right. So apparently the levers are up the nose. One of the levers will open a black hole and destroy everything. The other will set you free. Right. Oh, great. Right. Which which one do I pull? Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, Yon uh, Lichman here, he... Withers. Withers. Did I ken which one it is? Will actually do which, because it resets randomly every single time it's pulled. Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, that is So, uh, pretty much you could almost roll a dice and or flip a coin and pick one, because either way it's going... Now, the problem is, it will only do one person at a team. Now, hey, Withers. Right, if Yon, yon dog, Doggo can, can uh, if they can teleport from there, they can teleport from there? Oh no, any teleportation puts you straight back in there. So even if you're teleporting out, you just reappear back in there. You need to have one of these medallions in order to, to get out. To, 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 to teleport with... To teleport freely around this place, you need one of these medallions. How many of those medallions have you got? Uh, yeah, just this one is mine. Can I borrow it? Mm, what will you give me for it? <laughs> well, I didn't... I'll bring it back. You can have it back when I'm done. Yeah, well, I just... You know, I... Look, it's the thing. If you... Look, I may know this place and I may work in this place, but you take this medallion from me and then I am stuck in here. I can't teleport out. You, you know... Look, not that I don't trust you, but I don't. I. Uh, but if you, hey, wait, if you can teleport freely around here, does that mean you can go into your own place and teleport them out? No, because again, I only it only works with me. I can go in, and then I can come out by myself. But I can't, you know. Shit. Uh. Snorri's not smart enough to figure this out. <laughs> so some assistance from those in the party with larger collections of functioning brain cells not killed by alcohol would be very, very helpful about me, right? Aye? Aye? No? Seems like a 50-50 chance. Guys, is, what have you got? Right, so, you're in Snorri's hands. Oh, I'm afraid you're doomed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you want, what we can do, just for now... like some way you can make a temporary one? Like a temporary medallion? Like, no, I can't. The symbols it's... onto a little... Di no, no, absolutely. No, 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 no. We had, we had these very specially made... Sirak was the one that built them. So, unfortunately... Built them. Plural. Yeah, exactly. But uh, all the other ones were destroyed. I'm the only one that was left. Everyone else got killed. So, I'm the only one that has one of these that is remaining. He had one himself, and there was me, of course. Uh, for the ability to get in and out of this place as we required. Um, yeah, and where's his oh. corpse at? Yeah, check the bottom of the fucking lava. Hey, I would like hey, to make hey. a suggestion. Hey. Okay. You need to cast suggestion. Will he know if I did? Uh, if it fails, yeah. God. 
Uh, let's 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 not use means foul to to persuade the gentleman who's been so kind and helpful right now to uh, force him to do something. I've got that all he... my clothes here, ready to roll. Come on, let's rumble, ladies. <laughs> ah, well, you know, I mean, I'd step in and hit him with an axe, but that's near here and there. So, right, right. Couldn't you just dig her out then? Go find the room that's bl- so it's where like she's trapped a in, and try and take that out the wall. That it's okay, so let, yeah, let me explain how, how this works. So, the, right. the, w- the way the trap works is if someone tries to teleport themselves into this place without going through the proper means, or someone tries to teleport out of here without going through one of the proper doors, they get stuck in there. It's a punishment for trying to cheat uh, going through the dungeon. I'm... Very, very, very malicious. Kind of hilarious. I'm... Anyway, so, uh, if you don't have one of these medallions and you're attempting to teleport, you get stuck inside the oubliette, and then it is a 50-50 chance of whether or not you get stuck into a black hole. If you're strong enough, you might be able to resist the uh, the pull for the the time period that the uh, the trap is activated. But unfortunately, that was really the only uh, the only way out. So, uh, right. So, uh, uh, some small light if uh, at the end of the tunnel uh, floor. They they said if the the black hole only opens for a short time, eh? So it opens I've, for one minute. One minute, I right. So if you can hold on for a minute using some sort of whatever you've got there to, to prevent yourself from going in the hole, then you could uh, try the lever again uh, and rinse and repeat until you either find the way out or not. Uh, could she block the hole up? Uh, no, it is it is a, a sphere of annihilation. They are indestructible. Can I just look and give her a... Um... A bardic's inspiration, so she can roll extra on her strength. You need to be able to see the person to give them inspiration. You need to be within range of you to inspire them, unfortunately. Mm. You can't inspire someone via radio. <laughs> right, you can I sing through the radio. And just see Flair loving the fact that she's this has happened. Yeah. Right, so... So let me, let me just do this bit here. Let me just show you. So I'm just going to save this scene. Um, Terrible cold oubliette. <laughs> yes. We're going to level four of the. Is this where that person was also stuck with voices coming from the? Oh no. So this is the room that Fleur is currently in. She killed the shit out of the Otiog. Yep. And this is the room that she's in. So just to give you, just to give you an idea, this is what it is. So you got this big devil mouth. The room is filled with corpses of the people that were stuck in here. Yep. Uh, previously. Um. This is the the open mouth and the levers are there. So you've got to go... In order to get out of this room, you've got to go up. You've got to pick one of the two levers. If you pick correctly, you're out. If not, you're taking 10 consecutive checks to avoid being sucked into hey, the hole. Is there any way we can game this system? Probably not. I was, um... Yeah... I was thinking about just sacrificing one of the hands, but that would be, in effect, both of them. <laughs> the hand pulls it, it's the right one, blink, the hand comes the back. The hand comes back, that's it. It doesn't, yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, <laughs> oh, look, it gives my hand back, lovely. Um, uh, right. There's a sphere of annihilation. Snorri is just not smart enough to figure this out. So, right. I don't like it in here. Uh, I understand, but... None of us can go in there. She can't come out. There's no way to get to there. There's nothing she can use to get out. It's the levers or nothing. Is it a physical space that can be <clears throat> tunneled into? Or is it some pocket universe? No, no, it is a physical space. If you want to spend a couple of weeks tunneling, go right ahead. But uh, I've got better things to do. Uh... Except more a, a big hole to, f- to fill up after those weeks are done, which will take weeks. Yeah, on but top of that, that's fine. I, yeah, look, quite frankly, I don't expect you to succeed before she starves to death, so that's not my problem. Right. So look, I'm sorry about your friend, but uh, it's uh, again not not my issue. If you're if uh, we are done here, I've got uh, other stuff to to get to. So if you excuse me. Okay, here comes a here comes a, a text message. Uh, oh, I don't actually have my phone. It's all right. I will open up the. Uh... 
The only other thing I could think of is to sit around. He doesn't like us here. Are you actually messaging Leash? Leash? <laughs> If it was riddles or a puzzle, that would be easier. <laughs> I don't know. Suggestion might be fine. <laughs> it was actually one of the things that was sort of going on here, because I, I figured Leash wouldn't teleport just out of instinct, knowing that that's what happens when you teleport in this place and having run this thing before. Yeah. But I was just thinking, well, again, I know that this will happen, but re really, Fleur wouldn't know that it happened, and no one's teleported so far while within this place. And that would be the natural reaction to do it. So that's why. <laughs> okay, it's been a little oubliette, I know. But... Oubliette. Uh, did you want to give the suggestion a try while you... Um, so, if I pass the suggestion... If I pass, will they ever know? Or is it only a failed... They will know after the um, suggestion ends that mm. they have been hit with a spell. But once they've been hit with the spell, they the way that the suggestion works is they have to do everything in their power to uh, complete the suggestion given to them to the best of their ability. Okay. Right after that has uh, after that task has been completed, they cannot. Uh, after the task has been completed, they they know they've been hit with the spell. They'll, they'll know they've been hit with the spell even when it happens. They just can't do anything about it. Okay. So if they had the, the um. So what, like, what, what, what was the suggestion you? What was the suggestion you only tried? Let me just. I wanted... put it in there and hand the hand the, uh, hand the amulet over to, to leash. To, yeah. To Fleur. Okay, because that um, be, uh, part of su part of suggestion is that, that was is something that will definitely cause them harm. Okay. Because they won't do anything that will put them in harm's way. I was kind of thinking I'm not. Yeah. That, that, that's the equivalent of telling someone to jump off a cliff. Yeah. Because this guy knows how dangerous this room is. Could you could you make, like, get him to teleport the amulet to the thing, into the room? There's no, uh, there's no, he doesn't have the ability to, like, you could suggest it to him, but I'll tell you now, he doesn't have the ability to, to transport objects. Hmm. He can teleport himself, but that's it. I'm so not sure so I could get any information from him. Uh, but he probably would tell us if he knew. Uh, Flair, it may not be painted. So you just have to work out which lever it is. That's all it is. Pretty much, yeah. It's a, it's a guessing game. It's a 50-50. There's no real way to game. But if it's a game, there must be a clue. Mm. Well, if the odds are 50-50, then you know it's an even chance. Yeah. So it's just right or left. Or... Yeah, right or left, that's basically what you guys are going to... I reckon she say left. <laughs> she always says left. I, I love the idea, but the thing is, it's, I, I don't feel comfortable possibly killing <coughs> someone else's character without them being here to actually let this, figure this out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, no, totally, and then you died. Ha ha, I made you die. <laughs> we made you die. It'll be a collective thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, this, is it... Is it like, uh, do I have insight or history? What are, you, what are you trying to insight? I was trying to work out if this thing is just a trap or if it's like, uh, represents a god or something. Or something uh, like. you could just ask Withers if you wanted to. Okay. Can I, uh, Withers? Mm, yeah. So is this just a trap or is this like big gaping demon? Does he represent a god? Or... Oh, the demon is sort of meant to be the, the demonic representation of of Asmodeus. It's sort of a worshipy thing. Asmodeus? Uh, Asmodeus, you know, the king of hell. The, 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 what the... if we give a uh, sacrifice? Well, that's not, well, that's sort of what the idea is. This whole place is this big. A sacrifice. But can it's we... not, it's, it's not, it's not really so much a, a thing that you can, Look, let me just break it down for you. This is not really a thing that you can... You know, there, 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 there could be a way you could try you know, doing missing cups and, and swippy-swappy things and things like that, but ultimately someone's got to... In, someone in there has got to pull a lever to get someone out. That's really the only that's way to get... That's all someone uh, you can do. Does Flo have tiny hut? Uh, yeah. I believe Flo does she have does, tiny hut. Yeah. How long can you stay in a tiny hut? A tiny hut lasts for eight hours. Um, let me, I'll read the rules for Tiny Hut. 
if that is the suggestion you're going to provide. Two strings, one one to one lever, one to the other. And from inside the tiny hat go, eh. <laughs> nope. Eh. Okay, nine, uh, up to nine creatures, a spell for da, 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 da. creatures and objects that are in the dome. When you cast, can move through it and freely all the creatures and objects burn passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or cast through it. Um, okay, so that might work from what your understanding so far is. Snorri doesn't know. He's yeah. going to ask someone who's far more intelligent than he is, mm. which is really not reaching that far. Is it Captain Jaqueline? The so, you know that teeny hut thing, the yes, right, right. So everyone's got some rope, right? So perhaps maybe like do the teeny hut thing and tie the ropes to their levers and then go yoink. Oh no, terrible thingy! What's it? Yoink! Yeah, Punk and out. Yeah, we shall do that. Well, uh, it probably won't work. the The effect of the the black hole. I mean, that that is a magical effect in itself, but the way that it affects the room is literally by causing a vacuum, which is just going to be air being drawn in. So uh, that isn't going to be protecting unless she is sort of nailed to the ground. Nailed to the ground, you see. What if, what if, uh, Fleur ties herself to the to the horns of the of the thing and then pulls the lever? Yeah, but there was a dog there, wasn't there? Not. Well, she have obviously Chester would have to be tied down to. You. Oh, actually, Chester can go in that tiny hut. What well, for it? For, oh, no, that won't work neither. She does have that saddle that she she sits on Aye. Chester. She's not going to be moved. Tie Chester to the thing, sat in the saddle that she can't get pulled out of. Well, the, the, the trouble with that would be, just let, let me draw you a, a diagram here. So yeah. the, the horns bend down, the wind blows this way, and you'd have to be sort of mounted on top of the, the thing before the wind starts to, to blow. I mean, again, I'm saying it, it's not impossible, but it, it is a risk. I have hand, and she's small. Maybe I can hold her with my hand. Uh, mm, Free, no. you can't, you just you'd see. have to be in there to do it. What? Oh, Fleur, look at your, look at the chat. <laughs> so I have to, be, she has to be within range, I have to see her? Yes. Yes. All right. So, well, here is the thing. Do you guys want to pause it here just for now until you get a response? We'll have a quick um, food break, um, thinking break. So how to get Fleur out of the oubli. <laughs> Yes, yeah, this, is, this is pretty much a situation. We can't get in there. Nobody can teleport. And we can't oh. ask Fleur what she wants to do because she's... Yeah. So Fleur and Chester in the oubliette, you guys, trying to work out how what to tell her to do to get out. Yeah. But I'm saying just just for now, like we'll, we can, we'll have a quick break here yes. if you want. We'll, we'll pause the game. Yes, I think that might be a very good until, idea. And you guys can discuss what to do. And then after you guys... Like, we'll, 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 have, we'll, we'll do a 15-minute break. Uh, and then we'll come back and we will see what you guys... Uh... Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> I don't want to be the way... The reason why to die. Um... Hey, I know you were away ill and everything, but we killed your character. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you killed my character? Well... All right, everyone. We will be right back. One hour later. All right, so, so yeah, just ask. Okay, so yeah, we faded, we faded back in now. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so because oh, we've got the Soma, we can actually have a way to can get him to get her out, and then can get... we complete our mission then, and then we'll get Fekna to help out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> think about that statement for a second. I guess like, not. Like okay, yeah. well, so we we'll... cared about us because I was Jackie and Jackie. No, no, the... no absolutely not. No, That's Jackie no. wasn't that bad. Jackie did look after. No. Mm. Nobody. No, that's right. <laughs> Alrighty then, cool. So uh, at this point, unfortunately, we are unable to get in contact with Leash, uh, and that being the case, um, the rest of the party is unwilling to make the decision for Leash as to which lever to pull. Uh, and so with that impasse, um, unfortunately, that is going to be... Uh, oh, shit, I'm not recording, that's fine. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, for that point, that is where we're going to leave uh, today's session with... Um, 
Fleur stuck in the oubliette and um, everyone's sort of staring at Withers while Withers, Withers is tapping his fingers with all of his <laughs> all of his hands <laughs> waiting for them to decide what to do. They're all going thriller. Yeah. <laughs> So, how will the party um, deal with getting Fleur out of the oubliette? I suppose we'll find out next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. <sighs> but for now, thank you to my players. Snorri! I oh, ain't gonna be the one to kill her. Jake Quellen. I mean, I will if I have to. <laughs> 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 Tricks. <laughs> I'd say live to fight another day. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, everybody, remember to keep on blending. Bye! <laughs> Bye. I, I'm sorry, Fleur.